Hey there, Abiding Fam, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Lee, for those of you who are new. And here we are all about exploring and documenting and expressing our lives and faith in creative ways. So today we are doing part one of two, which is going to be on the topic of my highlighting system for my Bible study. This is actually a continuation of an ongoing series of videos that I've been doing on my Bible study practice. And so if you are interested in checking out that playlist, I will link it up here somewhere on one of these sides for you to check out and watch all of the other videos in this series. So today we are going to be covering why I color code my Bible and why that's a really important part of my Bible study process. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you what my actual highlighting system is. So we're going to go over my very easy five color system that I personally use to mark up my Bible. And make sure you stick around until the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing with you a free printable that you can use in your own Bible study practice. So I'm really excited to share my color code system with you guys and then in part two we are going to actually use the system together to go through a chapter of a book of the Bible together and go through it line by line, verse by verse in real time so I can really show you how I use this system in practice. So I'm very excited to do that together. So make sure if you're not already that you are subscribed to my channel and have that little bell notification on so that you get notified when part two comes out and of course for all of my future videos because I would love to have you in the abiding fam. So guys, with all of that said, let's get started. I really wanted to start this video by talking first about why I color code my Bible and why I think it can be a really good practice for your Bible study. Now, it is not just about making really pretty Instagrammable pages in your Bible. This is not the purpose. The purpose always when we are Bible studying is to draw closer to God by understanding him more. And so the reason I love color coding my Bible isn't because I love creativity and I love colors and it just makes me happy to look at. That's a part of it, certainly. But the main reason I enjoy it is because it really helps me to focus on what I am learning. By color coding my Bible, it forces me to slow down and consider every single verse on its own and forces me to ask myself, what is God trying to tell me through this verse? What is the author of this book of the Bible trying to get across. So I might ask myself, is he trying to help me to understand who he is or who Jesus is or the Holy Spirit? Is he trying to tell me something that is really important for Christians to live out in practicing our faith? Is he trying to tell me something that I shouldn't do as a Christian, something that is really practicing a lack of faith and is something that would be considered sinful? Is he trying to just tell me the historical context of that particular part of the Bible. Is he trying to help me understand the who, what, when, where, and why of what's happening in the overarching story? These are all really good questions to ask, and by having a color code system, it kind of forces me to ask a question that's associated with each color so I can know how to color code it. And so the process of choosing what color to put down to represent that verse is actually the process of learning. It's the process of determining what is it God is trying to tell me. And by slowing down and taking that time to pause, highlighting your Bible can actually be a really effective tool to just keep you focused. So the next reason I like to color code my Bible is because it gives me a visual representation of what I am learning. And so the difference here is it's less about 
what's happening in the process, which is what I talked about before about being able to focus more, and is more about what happens after I've finished studying that chapter of the Bible when I can take a step back and now have a visual representation of what I've just studied and learned about this particular chapter or book of the Bible. So I love that when I flip through Mark, for example, which is one of the books of the Bible I've recently studied, I can tell just by looking at the colors where Mark is going in terms of the story. I can see where we're learning a lot about Jesus because I see the colors that represent the Trinity and Jesus. And then I can see where I'm learning about the things that went wrong with the Pharisees and how they were really practicing sin and didn't even realize it because I begin to see the colors that represent the things that we shouldn't be doing as Christians. And then I also can pick out in that book of the Bible where Jesus is giving us instructions for how to live our lives, for how to be faithful followers of him and of God. And I can tell that just by noticing what colors show up at certain points in the story. And because of that, I can flip through really quickly a book of the Bible that I've recently studied and gain kind of an understanding of what I had learned without even diving deeply into my notes. Just by seeing the colors, that's enough. It also makes it a lot easier to go back and find the verses and ideas and themes that stood out to you when you originally studied that book. So if I wanted to go back to Mark and find all of the times that God was reminding me of the promises he made to his people and the fulfillment of those through Jesus, it would be really easy to do that because I have the color code system that tells me exactly where to focus in each of those chapters. And then the final reason I really enjoy using this kind of color code system in my Bible is really simple, and that's just that it represents my time with the Lord. It becomes this beautiful visual of all of the moments I spent learning about God and who he is, and I get to see my progress and my growth over time. <laughs> so apparently Jeannie is no longer interested in sitting on the bed. My Bible right now only has three books of the Bible that have been studied in this way that are full of color, and I love looking back at them and getting to think about everything I've learned, but more importantly, I get excited about all of the blank pages in there because it's an indication of how much more I have to learn and how much more I have to grow in my walk with God, and that's exciting. And so I hope that that is an encouragement to you that it's okay if you are new at this. It is okay if you are starting with a blank Bible and your Bible doesn't look like the ones you see on Instagram that seem like every single page is full because that person is such a good Christian and has spent so much time with God that every page of their Bible is colored in pen and highlighter. That might not be your Bible. It's certainly not my Bible, at least not yet, but we will get there together because it's all about the journey, it's all about the process, and highlighting your Bible is a really good way to mark your progress throughout that process. So now that we've covered why I like to highlight in my Bible, I want to share with you the color code system that I personally use throughout my Bible study. Now this color code is very simple. It is just five colors and I purposefully keep all of the themes and topics within those colors pretty broad so that I can use them in any book of the Bible that I'm studying. Now you'll also notice that some of the phrases that I use in my system or the colors probably mirror other ones that you've seen on the internet. And that's because I definitely pulled inspiration from others that I've seen on Pinterest and Instagram. And I would just encourage you to not use mine as, you know, the be all end all of Bible study color codes. If it's useful for you and you like it, I hope that's the case and I hope you use it. But I also encourage you 
to branch out and see what others are doing as well because you might find something in another system that would work better for you. But for those of you who are interested in learning about my color code system, the colors I use are yellow, green, orange, pink, and blue. And so each of those colors represents a specific theme or topics that I want to be paying attention to throughout my Bible study. The first is yellow, and that is the Trinity, God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Savior, Messiah, Lord, basically anything that has to do with who God is and who the Trinity is, those are things that I want to be highlighting yellow. Now for simplicity's sake, I did make all of these yellow on the Bible study color code, and typically I do just use yellow for all of those different topics and themes. However, there are some books of the Bible that I actually want to break it down a little bit more so that I can tell when the author of that book is talking about God versus the Holy Spirit versus Jesus. And so I actually use a red highlighter when talking about Jesus and a deeper orange highlighter that I use for marking the Holy Spirit just on occasions for some books of the Bible so that I can really understand the Trinity more deeply. But for other books of the Bible, like some things in the Old Testament, for example, I would just use yellow for anything about any part of the Trinity, God, Holy Spirit, Savior, etc. But I did want to point that out because you'll notice in some of the pages that I've highlighted that I'm also using this red color and this deeper orange to talk about Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The other colors, though, are exactly what they say they are. So green is for wisdom, lessons, becoming Christ-like, following the way, and faithful living. So essentially, green is what I use whenever I'm picking up on a verse telling me how I should be living my life and telling me what to do as a follower of Christ. And then the opposite of that is orange, which is warnings, sinful living, the enemy, any mention of unbelief, and convictions. So anytime I feel convicted by the Holy Spirit about something that I should not be doing, I will highlight that orange. I will also highlight any time that God is clearly warning his people against something. And anytime the enemy is mentioned, I will highlight that orange. Basically anything that has to do with the opposite of being Christ-like, the things that we are not called to do, and anything that seems like the work of the enemy trying to turn us away from God, that I color code orange. The next color is pink, which I use for any form of praise, encouragement, worship, truth, hope, prayers. I use this for basically anything that shows God's love to me and reminds me of his promises for his people. And so anytime I see pink in my Bible, I know that that is going to be a really encouraging word and something that will lift me up and remind me of who God is in terms of what he has promised me and his people. And then the final color is blue, which I use for anything that provides context for what I am learning, whether that's a prophecy or historical context, something about genealogy, or naming a person, place, time, or numbers that are really important to just understanding what is happening in the story and understanding the historical context of why things happened that way, that is when I pull out my blue highlighter. So those are the colors I use. And then I also have a small subset of symbols that I use to help me focus even more in my Bible study on specific elements. So one of those, for example, is drawing a square around a word that I want to define or study more. And then I also circle any form of repetition. So if a word is standing out to me as something that the author in that chapter is using a lot, I will circle it so that I can look it up or try to understand why it's being used over and over again. 
And then I also like to use an asterisk or a star to indicate any time that there is a memory verse that I want to learn by heart. And something else I really encourage you to use is a question mark. And the reason I encourage you to do this is because it's telling yourself that it's okay to not understand something you are reading. That is going to happen over and over and over again in your studying. And that's okay because it's a way of indicating to yourself that I don't understand this yet, but I want to learn. I want to understand it. And so I'm asking God to help me through that. And it is a visual indicator that this is something I should look up and look to others to help me understand it. So a lot of times as I'm studying, I'll put a question mark down next to a verse I don't understand or a topic, and then that will prompt me to look it up in a commentary or online to understand it, hopefully more deeply. But it's also sometimes the case that a question mark just sits on the page for a while and that it's going to take more time for me to fully comprehend it. And the great thing about the Bible is you're always learning and you can always go back to those questions. And then finally, I do like to underline any verses that really stand out to me or that I really wanna meditate on more deeply. And so because I'm highlighting all over my Bible using the color code system, the underline is the way to indicate that this is something that I want to stand out even more than just indicating it with the colors. So that is my color code system. It is very easy and straightforward. Five colors to represent five topics or themes that you may want to be studying in your Bible with a few symbols to help understand what you're learning even more. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted you to be able to have an easy way to access this color code system and use it for yourself. So I designed and created this printable for you to use in your war binder or faith journal. You could print it out on cardstock and use it as a bookmark for whatever part of the Bible you are currently studying. And I actually went ahead and printed mine out on sticker paper so that I could stick it right into my growth book. You could do the same thing to stick it into the front of your Bible. And because I know we all have different styles, I actually went ahead and made four different designs. So there is one with pretty florals on it. There is one that is just kind of a blended watercolor background and then one that has like dots on it, which is really fun, and then a blank one as well. And there's also one that is completely blank with just the colors on it so that you can fill in your own topics and themes if you want to make it completely your own you can do that as well. So if you're interested in getting these printables for yourself, you can check them out at the link in my description box. They are completely free. The link will take you to my Patreon page where there is a public post where you can just access it and download it without being a patron or signing up. But if you are interested in supporting my channel and getting far more free printables and content from me, then I will encourage you to maybe consider becoming a active patron over there to help support my channel. And I will be starting all of my Patreon exclusive content again starting October 1st, so I hope you'll consider joining us then. So that brings us to the end of this video, friends. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it inspired you and hopefully gave you some ideas of how you might incorporate a highlighting system into your Bible study routine to help you focus, to visualize what you're learning, and to document your time spent with the Lord. Now, if you're still not sure if highlighting in your Bible is right for you, Remember, there is a part two of this video coming very soon where we will go through the process together and you can see how it actually works in practice. So I hope that you will join me for that video by subscribing to my channel and joining the Abiding Fam and of course hitting the notification bell so that you get notified exactly when that video comes out in addition to all of my other content. I'm so thrilled to be back creating content for you and I have so many fun things in store. So until then fam, keep exploring your abiding creativity and documented life full of abiding faith, hope, and love. 